quality assurance at its finest. Alright everyone, welcome back to the Completionist Cape Chronicles. I am Major Mike, as always. No, no one has hijacked the series yet. So I'm currently working on mixing up some potions, getting that 200,000 experience I need for the Herblur Harmony Pillar to get my Harmony Moss gathered and get the last Memorian Crystal. I'm making my potions at a portable well, and I use the portable well because it gives extra Herblur experience, as well as giving a chance to get extra potions for free without the use of any ingredients. So I found out a little fact about that Memorian Crystal behind the Harmony Pillar. That's actually the 17th Crystal. That's not the one I'm getting. I'm getting the 16th Crystal. The 17th Crystal behind the Harmony Pillar is not needed for the Completionist Cape. It actually unlocks a secret title, which again is not required for the Completionist Cape. And to obtain it, it's still not yet known how to obtain it. Uh, if I find out anything about it, I'll post a comment or an annotation or maybe put it in my next video. Or maybe all three. However, to get the 16th Memorian Crystal, I still do the same thing I'm doing now. I need to have a tree planted to the north, I need to have a perfect juju farming potion, and I need to collect a Harmony Moss fully grown. So I'm going to finish up making these potions, getting my 200,000 Herbler experience, and we'll go ahead and get that last Memorian Crystal. Okay, so I've gained my 200,000 Herbler experience, and I'm just about to get my last Memorian Crystal. I have my fruit tree fully grown, I have my perfect juju farming potion, and my Harmony Moss is ready to be picked. So I'm going to start off by drinking the Perfect Juju Farming Potion and checking the health of the tree. I don't know if you need to check the health or not for this to work, but I'm going to go ahead and do that now anyway, just to be safe. Now let's go ahead and gather that Harmony Moss, and that should give me my last Memorian Crystal. Another thing worth mentioning guys, if you have the magic secateurs and the green finger aura, you want to wear those when you harvest it, make sure it's activated. And that'll actually help give you a, a greater yield from your harvest, just like herbs. And there we go. Wow, only one harmony moss, alright. So much for the potion and the magic secateurs and the aura. It does usually work though, it usually gives you a greater chance keyword chance of getting more harmony moss. Anyway, there's my last memorian crystal, so let's go ahead and turn that in. And while we head there, uh, let's let you know about my next goal is going to be to get the of the Melior title. And speaking of the of the Melior title, they reduced the amount of harmony moss you need to get the title. It used to be 200, you now only need to collect 50 harmony moss. So that's a great assistance in my journey there to unlock that title. And there we go, that's all the Memorian Crystals except for the hidden one that's still behind that Harmony Pillar, which isn't required for Completion Escape. So that's one more Completion Escape requirement down. So let's go replant that Harmony Pillar and do some skilling, try to knock out of the Melior title. I just came to claim my daily card from the Horde Stalker in Priftinas, and luckily I just got a consistent Yak card. If you examine it, you'll read, Finding a Clan Melior combination potion recipe is guaranteed when you open a door. So that means the next floor I do, I'm guaranteed to get one of the potion recipes. And that's my strategy I've been doing so far. I come to the Horde Stalker every day, I get a card, and I also turned on my Dungeoneering challenges from the Challenge Mistress, hoping to be able to find them just doing daily challenges. The rest of the time I'll be grinding out C1 floors looking for the potion recipes. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my Ring of Kinship now and knock this one out and claim my first potion recipe from Daemonheim. Okay, let's try out this consistent Yak card. If this works, let's activate it. I should have a potion recipe waiting for me in the next room. Right? Maybe the next room? I hope. Yay! Okay, there it is. I was getting worried. I guess this be a room to a door you haven't yet discovered, since I already had this room or the door discovered from the starting area. It must not have counted. All right, so there's my first Dungeoneering potion recipe. Now, the first potion recipe you unlock from Dungeoneering will always be the Super Melee potion. Once you've found it, you need to actually come up to Lady Melior 
and buy it from her. So now we need to actually buy it after we found the recipe from her. And to make it, you need a 4 dose super strength, a 4 dose super defense, and a 4 dose super attack. Now this is a separate completionist requirement than just finding all the potion recipes. You have to actually unlock and then make this potion and give it to her. So we're going to combine that in our crystal flask and then give it to her. Now she gives us a melee XP lamp and that's another completionist requirement done. I'll put it on both attack and strength. Actually, I'd have a strength pillar. Um, I'm curious to see if that actually works, if the lamps will work with the strength pillar over here. Okay, so here's my pillar of strength. Currently 44,000 XP, 44, XP, 44, XP to advance next stage growth, so let's see if lamps work on it. Strength. 44k, no, apparently lamps do not work on the Harmony Moss. Good to know though. So another thing I've been doing is reach inside the Motherload Mall statue and looting it daily. If you have 115 Dungeoneering, you can enter this mysterious entrance here and go north and you'll see reach inside Motherload Mall. You can do this once per day and this gives you a chance of getting Dungeoneering Potion recipes as well. Only a Golden Rock that time, but I'll be trying that daily as well just to try to get my Dungeoneering Potion recipes faster. So I wanted to do my daily looting of the Motherload Mall today and I wasn't expecting this, so I'm doing post-commentary. But when I looted the Motherload Mall, I got a Dungeoneer and Potion recipe. After that, I went across to the 95 resource dungeon in the Horde Stalker. And from the Horde Stalker, I got a consistent Yak card. This guarantees me a potion when I use it, so there'll be two potion recipes unlocked today. Just six more to go. So while I do some divination for my Harmony Pillars, I wanted to take a moment to talk to you guys about my YouTube channel some more. My YouTube channel I started in 2007 originally to make RuneScape videos. RuneScape is something I definitely enjoy making videos of, and I really enjoy this series, and I will be continuing to make mostly RuneScape videos. However, there will occasionally be other Let's Plays, as I do have other interests. If you see a video of NS2 or Borderlands or something like that, please don't assume that I'm done making RuneScape videos, or that my main interest isn't RuneScape anymore. Uh, with this series, I have gained a lot of subscribers, well, a lot of subscribers to me. I've never really had that many, and this is the most I've ever seen. I am really appreciative of you guys, I really, it blew my mind that I'm getting so much reaction, and it's not even that big of a reaction, but it's a reaction that I have never experienced before, and I'm really appreciative of it. I try to get back to you guys when you leave comments, and it, it really means a lot to me. So for those of you who are subscribed, thank you, and if you happen to see a video of something other than RuneScape, you don't have to check it out. If you want to, by all means, go right ahead, but don't feel pressure that just because you're subscribed to me, you have to watch something else. Uh, as I said, this channel will mostly be, for the foreseeable future, mostly RuneScape, but there may be other videos here. So just take that as you may, and again, thank you guys.